Okay, let's uh, have another game. Okay. How many title players are on at this time in the morning? 29. That's a Kurtz. I am Rolmar. Right, so, uh, scary name, Exorcist. <laughs> okay, uh, transpose into Sicilian normally. Play Knight F3. And Warren Smith. Aha, bit of pressure. Bishop G5 or Bishop F4? Maybe Bishop G5 just for uh, try and get that weakness, that F6. Okay. So I just want to put pressure on the D file. D6. Maybe A4 would have been good. Uh, or Knight D5 here takes takes for D6. Is that any good? Try and get the dark square bishop. Use that diagonal. <clears throat> so takes, takes, 95, d6, check, and take him on e7. Uh, there's also a threat of bishop c7. Okay. Hopefully, this is uh, good. So 95 d6 check. If it moves the king, I guess I take it on c6. Could I delay it? Could I play h4? I think I can't delay it. Uh, but I think h, because he just plays knight e5. If he, if he plays king h8 and I play h4, just knight e5. Uh, so I think I must take knight on king h8. Um, ah, okay, d6 check. So, what am I going to be left with here? Takes, I can take on e7 now. That looks pretty good. Any other stronger moves? Any forcing moves? There's rook d5. I think d takes e7 is is reasonable. Because if he takes, I get that e5. Uh, I just take and take on e5. That looks really good. If he moves the rook, anyway. Uh, ah. Let's check. I want to keep the queen there, I think, for bishop f7. So if I take with a pawn, rook e8, bishop f7. Right, so he's giving up a piece here. Uh, rook d5 is still a good forcing move potentially. It's not needed though, I don't know where his rook's moving. He's going to make queen d8. That's grim. He's just resigned here, that was quick. Rating move win. Oh, his provisional rating. So I only gained one point from that. Ah, <laughs> oh, uh. Okay, so, uh. Yeah, Morris Smith Gambit. It's uh, that knight d5. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure really what to say about this game. Comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.